To create a data foundation based on multiple connections, you must select the multi-source enable type during creation. Connections must be secured and available as connection shortcuts in the local project. In this tutorial, you will create a data foundation based on multiple MS Access connections. Note that this tutorial was recorded using SAP Business Objects Information Design Tool 4.0, version 14.0.0, v2010-1019-0760. To navigate, use the viewer controls or follow the on-screen instructions, if available. Create a new multi-source enabled data foundation, which comprises a schema of tables and joins from two or more relational databases. Click the new list. Select Data Foundation, type Sales, and then click Next. Choose the Multisource Enabled option. Click Next. A multisource data foundation uses secured connections stored in a repository. In order to use these connections, you need to log on to the repository where they are stored. Click Next. Select the secured relational database connections to be used as the multiple sources for your data foundation. Select the Club CNS checkbox. Select the Sales CNS checkbox. Click Next. You can provide each connection with a short name to identify the source used. This name is used in SQL expressions for data relating to the source. The short name must be unique within the data foundation and is limited to 40 characters. If you change the short name for the connection, the SQL expressions are automatically updated with the new name. Click Next. Each connection source is given a different color. This color is used in the table header in Data Foundation Views. You can change the color for a connection at any time. Click Finish. Next, populate the Data Foundation with tables and joins from the two different data sources. Click the Insert List. Select Insert Tables. Click Plus to expand the club connection. Select the customer checkbox. Click minus to collapse the club connection. Click plus to expand the sales connection. Select the invoice line checkbox. Click to scroll down. Select the sales checkbox. Click finish. You can use the detect joins option to automatically detect the joins between the tables and the different data sources. Click the detect list. Select Detect Joins. Specify the appropriate method and options for join detection. Join detection can be based on identical column names or database keys. For a multi-source enabled data foundation, ensure the checkbox for detecting joins across different connections is selected. Click Next. Once you have selected the join detection method, the joins are detected. You can then select the joins to be inserted into the data foundation. Click Finish. View the tables and join summary in the data foundation view. Click Data Foundation. In the data foundation view, you can see the summary of the tables and joins inserted from the different data sources. Note that an asterisk appears before the sales DFX name in the data foundation tab. This indicates that the data foundation has not been saved yet. Click Save. You have successfully created a data foundation based on multiple data sources using the information design tool. This is the end of the tutorial.